NASA's realm is space, but from space, they watch the Earth. A project called the Global Precipitation Mission has been collecting detailed measurements of rain and snow for the past five years, but now they've found a way to expand that data. What we've done is we've actually remastered this by looking back into the past with previous satellites and now have one continuous record over almost 20 years to really look at these patterns and changes. This new record shows great detail, but more importantly, it shows great coverage. NASA says if you take the area covered by every single rain gauge in the world, it would only fill up two basketball courts. Satellites cover the entire planet. We check it against the rain gauges and we get a continuous picture. One place that we have no rain gauges or even radar coverage is the oceans. But we do know that they have areas that get less rain than the Sahara Desert. And so understanding these ocean deserts is the same as understanding where we're having the major storm systems. And so with a longer term picture, we can see those extremes like never before. NASA says this will also help climate models with quandaries they struggle to resolve, like the diurnal cycle. That's the way rain ebbs and flows with the daily heating of the Earth. And it will also help us understand large scale weather patterns like El Nino and learn more specifically how they distribute precipitation across the globe. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. So NASA said they're also working to get this data into the hands of government decision makers around the world. They want to help them better understand things like flooding, crop forecasting and disease outbreaks.